Hey, my beautiful loves. It is Ashley Love here, founder of the I Am Simply Beautiful Global Movement to empower women to love who they are regardless. And you know what? Sometimes life can get a little hectic. Sometimes things just don't go your way. And so I wanted to come on here today to tell you my top five tips five to getting your life back on track doing what you've got to do and keeping the stress down keeping the negativity down and just living your life a day at a time and enjoying every moment that was a mouthful but anyways yes so i'm going to tell you my top five tips the first one is you've got to stop comparing yourself to others you've got to stop comparing your life to everybody else's life because let me tell you something you can compare all day long 24 7 and it's going to get you nowhere except feeling depressed stressed make you not want to do the things you need to do in your life so stop looking at their grass because sometimes their grass is only greener because it's either fake or you haven't seen the fruit of their effort and the things that they've had to do to make their grass that green. Number two is you have got to take time for yourself. And if you've watched my videos before, you know that that is a major, major thing that I talk about a lot. And I have to really focus on that in my own life, having three daughters working on my business doing so many different things is you got to focus on you you got to take that time pull yourself away from everything and just say you know what what do I want to do what do I want to do in my life how am I going to save everybody else and do what I've got to do if I'm a sinking ship and I don't have a paddle, I don't have no damn oars or whatever they're called. I don't have no floaties because I'm letting myself sink so I can save everybody else. It starts with you. What do you like to do for fun? When's the last time you took some time out just to focus on your needs and things that you love? That's something I want you to think about. So number one is I want you to truly stop comparing yourself to others. Number two, I want you to focus on yourself and focus inward on what you like and take some time out for you. Number three, y'all, this is a big one. You have got to get from around negative people negative people will pull you down faster than anything else why because I don't care how much you say you know what yeah I've got negative people around me but they don't affect me oh no they don't you know what they say it doesn't matter to me let me tell you something in your subconscious mind if you hear something a number of times you eventually start to believe it that's why I created the I Am Simply Beautiful movement. If you are, I don't care if you believe it or not that you are beautiful. If you say it or you keep posting it over and over again with your pictures, guess what? Eventually, you are going to believe that you are beautiful. Well, the same goes with negativity. If you're constantly around it and you're letting it just hound you, you can put on your blinders, you can put on your headphones and try not to listen, but somewhere, sometime, it's going to stick. So you've got to distance yourself from negativity and negative people. And step four is now you're going to take that negativity that you, you pushed away and you're going to now replenish it with positivity. Again, doing positive things that you love, getting around positive people, getting people in your circle that truly want to see you succeed. They want to encourage you. They want 
to show you the ropes and to be there for you. How do you find those people? It all goes back to what we talked about with your interests and what you like and what you love. You can find people within those realms. You can find mentors within the fields or within the areas that you want to go into or you want to expand in. And watch what they do. Connect with them. But surround yourself with positivity. And then my second um, part of that is affirmations. Recite daily affirmations. I'm beautiful. I'm amazing. You know, what I can offer this world is, is going to bloom. I'm going to change lives. Start creating a list of affirmations that you need in your life every day and then start reciting them. And then the fifth and the final one is to really work on your mindset shift. So you've got all these things in place. Now you are distancing yourself from negativity. Now you are not comparing yourself to others. You are really focusing inward on you. You're reciting affirmations. Now is the time for you to start focusing on your mindset. Instead of thinking everything is going to be negative. Oh my gosh, I don't have the money for this. I don't have the time for that. I'm not good enough. I want you to really focus on changing that around from that negativity to that positivity. Because I'm telling you, that's going to change things for you in your life. When I really started to shift, even when some of the worst, craziest things went on in my life, I had to say, you know what? It was a learning experience, but this was to help me to get better to help me to overcome, to help me to prepare for that next level, to prepare for the next version of me that I need to be so that I can show up the way I need to to make what I desire to happen in my life come to pass. But I just wanted to share those tips with you because I know I see so many people every day going through different hard times, going through different hardships, and they want a better life and you can have a better life but those are my five starting points on how you can right now begin to rebuild your life begin to really focus inward on you to set goals and to make a difference in your own life you cannot make a difference in someone else's life until you begin to make a difference within your own life the change begins within you so i hope y'all are having an amazing week it is wednesday it's a beautiful day and it is time for you to shine and it's time for you to actually see your light you have an amazing light within you it is truly amazing but you've got to see it and you've got to stop dimming it but letting it shine bright because there's people out there that need you. But the first person that needs you to show up and to shine is yourself. Have a blessed and an amazing Wednesday. I'll see you next time. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. I will read all of the comments. I will respond to you. And hit that little notification bell so you can see the next time I post here on YouTube. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Mwah. Bye.